Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to Old Joe the Crocheting Sailor. I'm going to come on and show you how to do this beautiful florette stitch. It is worked up in a two row repeat. We are going to be doing a row of double crochets and also the little beautiful florets or puff stitches if you will and it's going to make this beautiful design so what you will need in order to do this is whatever yarn you like a crochet hook and let's go ahead and get started now this is worked up into a multiple of two plus three so i am going to do my chains right now i'll do 12 chains and i'll go ahead and add three and once you have the desired number that you would like, go ahead and make one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So if you can do double crochets and slip stitches, you will be able to do this stitch. So we are going to put one double crochet in each chain all the way to the end and if you are not familiar with those stitches I do have some in-depth tutorials that will show you how to do those so go ahead and continue to the end of the row and we'll pick up from there so once we get to the end of the row, we are going to chain one and turn our work. And what we're going to do is skip this first stitch right here and we're gonna go into the second stitch and we are going to make a double crochet. Into the next stitch, we will do a slip stitch. And if you turn the work, you will see that it will create our beautiful florette or puff, if you will. Now in the next stitch, we'll do a double crochet In the next stitch, we'll do a slip stitch. And we are going to continue this all the way down the row. Next, a double crochet. And then a slip stitch in the next stitch. And it is as simple as that. Double crochet in this stitch. and a slip stitch into this stitch. So go to the end of your work and I'll meet you back at the end. So once you have reached the end of your work, after that double crochet, there will be one stitch left, which is right here. So in the top of that chain right there we are going to do a slip stitch so you will put your hook in there and do your slip stitch and that will end your second row so for row three we are going to chain three one two and three turn your work And now this row, 
will be a row of double crochets, just like this first one here. So what we are going to do is we are going to skip that first stitch right there and we are going to work right on top of that beautiful flower puff is what I call it. And we are going to put a double crochet. And then into the next stitch, which is right here in between both of those puffs, we'll do another double crochet. So don't miss those. We will double crochet across the row and in every stitch across. This is our next one. So you're gonna be looking for this V here, for these Vs, and that's what you're gonna go into. So if you have a problem finding these stitches, please turn your work and it will make it easier for you to see those stitches. And you are just going to double crochet all the way across, just like this. Don't forget, you have a stitch right in between here. So you'll go into there and make your double crochet and I'll meet you back at the end. So now that we've come to the end of the work, you will see that there is one stitch remaining. You don't want to miss that. You'll go ahead and make your last double crochet. And this is what your work should look like. You will do a chain one and turn. So for our next row, we'll go ahead and we are going to work in this second stitch here. And we are going to do a double crochet. And then a slip stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And a slip stitch in the next stitch. And we will continue alternating across the row. Double crochet into this stitch. And a slip stitch into the next stitch. And we'll continue down the row and I'll meet you back at the end. So we're at the end of the row and we will be ending with a slip stitch into the last stitch. If I can get my hook in there, I crochet it tightly. And now what we'll do is chain three and turn because that will be our double crochet row. And then we'll just continue in this fashion. So this is what your work should be looking like. We will put a double crochet right into that second stitch, not this first one here, but the second one right on top here. And do a double crochet. And you just continue the rows until your project is complete. So I'm hoping that this tutorial was very helpful for you. I really enjoyed doing this stitch with you all. And you continue on until you get as many rows as you like. And this is what you will have. So I'll show you very quickly. Let me pull my yarn. I got a little tension there. But this is what your work should look like, just like this. If you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell on so you won't miss a notification. 
Thank you all so much, and you all have a glorious day.